I went in first thing and I took the flag down and then I folded it up properly the way it should be. Tonight was a decorated Navy veteran fired for taking down a tattered American flag. Good evening and welcome to Channel 4 News at 6. Now, that flag was flown proudly outside a local business. And when it became worn out, a veteran who worked at the shop took it down. Now he says he lost his job because of it. Veterans groups are getting involved and they're not happy. Channel 4's Dennis Ferrier tonight with both sides of a story that you won't see anywhere else. Dennis? Well, Dimitri, the American flag is an emotional symbol for many veterans and Americans. Tonight it is the center of the firing of a veteran at a tractor store. Rick Heilman spent 22 years in the U.S. Navy. He is proud. As a chief diver, he performed dangerous and important jobs. He retired so he could spend more time with his two girls and his wife. But his recent job at Yearwood Equipment in Fayetteville ended ugly. Heilman says on Friday he mentioned to the store manager that the flag out front of the store was in tatters and needed to be removed. I asked PD, I said, hey, uh, flag's pretty torn up out front. Do we have another one to replace it? And he pretty much bluntly told me no. I said, okay. I said, well, can I take it down until we get a new one? And he again repeated, no. Heilman went home unhappy. It bothered me all weekend. And I said, uh, the right thing to do is to take it down. And I should have taken it down Friday, but, you know, I took it down this morning. Heilman says his manager was instantly aggravated and mentioned that he had bought a new flag this weekend and that Heilman should have waited. You have not followed my instructions and, and uh, you've, you've uh, disrespected my authority and therefore you're fired. We went to Yearwood Equipment to get the manager's side of the story. P.D. Shelton's the manager of Yearwood Equipment Company. We asked him to do an on-camera interview. He said he couldn't, didn't want to, employee confidentiality, but he did tell us that Mr. Heilman leaving had nothing to do with taking down the flag. He says, you know, you're being fired for not following instructions, not because you didn't, not because you took the flag down. Well, the instructions you gave, the instructions he gave me were not viable. Way too often we as a society have come to a point where we see something that's wrong, we know it's wrong, and it's easier just to shake our head and walk away than it is to confront the problem. Heilman says he took pictures of the tattered flag so people would believe his side of the story just in case it became a he said, he said story, which of course is where we are tonight, Tom. Dennis Ferrier denied Dennis, thanks.